We're back. Hi again. Uh, my name is Stephanie Grow. Um, my name is Stephanie Grow. Um, this is day 873 of Sex Change Sabotage by Dr. Sue Porn with Tanya Sokol. Um, this is part four or part D, however you want to call it. And um, I talked about embalmed, uh, embalmed tissue. The last uh, video, I uh, presented an outline for the evidence that I have to support that, and uh, in the future I will be um, putting this evidence on the web so that um, I can back up my claims. So um, now I want to get into uh, the subject of why, um, what leads to uh, the word sabotage versus accident or complication, and. Um, I, uh, I hope that if, if someone's groin is embalmed, that's intentional by itself, but I wanted to go through some of the other supporting evidence I have um, that I went through um, uh, that points to uh, actual intent and um, not just an accident. So, um, 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 number one, the complications, um, at two years plus, two years, uh, post-operative are, um, got some sun shining in here. I'm going to try to, uh, do something about it. Hold on a second. I'm very scared of having to make these allegations and being the only one to make them. Um, I'm very scared because I uh, I've been threatened with legal action if I were to say anything about um, what my suspicions are um, on the internet. Um, but. Um, Having said that, or, or even if even through those uh, threats, I've decided that it's I have nothing uh, to hide, and um, uh, my complications are only getting worse if untreated, and um, um, no one seems to be willing to stand up for me. So I, I'm I'm going to uh, be the messenger, and uh, hopefully people will. Um, want to be the hero, if you, for lack of a better word. So, um, the complications are at two years uh, plus uh, post-op are unprecedented and unprecedented for any SRS surgeon, let alone Dr. Suporn. So I challenge any surgeon to come up with a patient who had uh, these kinds of complications that can't sit or bend over without the groin feeling like it is being ripped off of their body. So, um, uh, I can't sit. Uh, when I do sit, I have to sit very gradually. Um, I can get into that in another video, uh, why embalmed tissue would support that uh, claim or that symptom. Um, uh, the next bullet item, uh, The reason these are important, this bullet item, the first one I gave you, is because if the complications are unprecedented, then they're likely intentional and not an accident, uh, especially for a world-renowned surgeon as Dr. Suporn, who's performed uh, close to 2,000 surgeries or more. Um, so, um, So that said, let's go to the next bullet item. Uh, patient banned from doctor's own support group at the peak of complications. That happened. Um, what happened is I uh, was in Thailand um, experiencing these complications uh, b between day 9 and day 13 when they became um, acute-like uh, in terms of labia that were uh, hard as clay. The tissue was very hard in my labia, um, no signs of blood flow anywhere. Um, 
and a yellow discharge in some of the tissues. Um, I have vo uh, photos supporting that evidence. Um, um, I, I uh, experiencing these complications. I I went to Dr. Suporn on day uh, 12 post-op, which would have been a Monday. Day 9 was a Friday. Day 12, and he um, he saw me, but he didn't uh, seem to catch on that there was any problem. Um, said everything was normal and that I was worrying too much and was uh, troubled that I uh, did. I questioned his, his uh, judgment. And I became getting alarmed by that and scared that I wasn't getting complications dealt with that I thought were very severe, like loss of feeling and uh, uh, hardening of tissues. So, um, uh, I was very concerned and, and went to the support group, which I thought was an independent support group for patients, uh, especially when they had questions uh, uh, concerning any complications of their surgery. Uh, the support group was Dr. S. Club. Yahoo group, dr underscore s underscore club. Um, I I went there and asked questions. Um, in terms of sensitivity and swelling, and um, it was a fairly um, innocent question. There was no flame throwing or anything. I. I went to the group to ask them about some questions. I then um, uh, indicated that I was concerned that I had gone to Dr. Um, uh, Chetowit or, or asked, emailed Dr. Chetowit for his advice. And because I um, disclosed that information to the group, uh, I was banned from the group. Um, I was banned while I was in Thailand by myself. I went there by myself to Thailand. The group was my only uh, source of support. I had, like I said in my previous video, I, um, or earlier parts of this video, I, I was stealth. I had no friends, no family, uh, no um, support network, um, nothing to, to rely on to, uh, to, to stand beside me and witness what was going on. and. I was banned from this only uh, form of support that I that I had at the time. I think uh, I, I, at the at, as a result of being banned, I was um, getting very scared in in Thailand, um, not able to ask questions, not knowing where to go, not knowing what was going on, if if I was being targeted somehow, um, uh, getting very scared. So. Um, so I couldn't ask questions about swelling and um, decreased sensation. Now, the reason that's important is um, uh, when you have a, uh, I'm not a doctor, but I challenge any doctor to, um, to challenge me on this. Um, if you have a wound and you have sensation in that wound from nerve um, uh, healing, um, the sensation of that wound is uh, uh, the, the nerve healing is inversely proportional to the amount of swelling that happens in that wound, meaning that if you have uh, uh, swelling that goes down, the sensation should not uh, go down, it should go up or stay the same. It, sh it should not be going down. Um, so in, in what I was experiencing at the time was a wound that um, had no swelling. Um, I can sh show the photos that indicate such. No increase in swelling, but the um, the sensation was was going down dramatically, and and it started on day nine post-op, and by day thirteen the labia was largely numb, and especially in the area of the uh, hardened labia, uh, and I term it hard as clay because. When I touched it with my finger and with my hands, uh, it felt just like clay, like a hard lump, like there was nothing uh, alive about it, like it was filled with um, 
uh, some sort of paste or crazy glue or something. Um, oh, how are we doing on time? I didn't start the timer again, so um, I hope I don't run out of time. But um, the next bullet item is uh, um, okay. So going back, I was banned from the doctor support group. I believe that in uh, is also suspect for uh, sabotage because uh, by banning me, it induced fear into me such that I wouldn't. Um, I, I would panic. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do anything to um, uh, draw attention to myself. I wouldn't try to go get outside help at this point because uh, at the time I was being banned, the doctor Suporn was telling me that he would wash his hands of me if I consulted Dr. Chetowit or some other Thai surgeon. Um, um, so this was uh, a sign of sabotage because it. Uh, it kept me from going and getting a second opinion by instilling fear into me. Um, and it's a very unusual event to be banned from the height of your complications when you know that's when you need the support the most. So I mention this because um, I think this is part of um, what happens when you run into something like this, a sex change sabotage, which is unprecedented. Okay, so um, the next item is a day nine office visit which the complications started. Um, that is missing from the medical records. Okay. So, I can show the day nine existed because I had groin graft stitches removed during that day, and I can show that with uh, photos that were taken before and after the time of the visit that show stitches were present and then stitches were gone. And I believe that two Americans, should they decide to come forward, can witness that I was there uh, talking to them in the waiting room just before I went in for my visit. Um, fourth bullet point is the Dr. Suporn recused himself uh, from my care uh, at four and a half months post-operative when I went there physically to see him and then he lied about it in the medical records saying that I left him. Uh, these things together point to an, uh, something very bad happening in Thailand and um, very bad happening in Thailand and uh, it all points to sabotage that something uh, very wrong happened they had to cover it up by they banned me to keep me from speaking about it um, um, they lied about a lot of things and uh, threatened me that if I were to go seek help within six months um, uh, that he would wash his hands of me so um, I'm very unhappy, and uh, I um, hope hopefully I can show all this stuff with hard uh, evidence of photos, medical records, that kind of thing. So I think that's it for this video series, and I uh, appreciate you um, sticking in there with me. And I'm going to end it right now because I don't know uh, how much time I have left. So I will talk to you soon. And um, again, this is Stephanie Grow. And it's day 873 of Sex Change Sabotage by Dr. Suporn with Tanya Sockle. And I'm not getting any better. I need a doctor who can come forward, diagnose what is in my tissue, and confirm that uh, this doctor should not be practicing medicine, uh, to say the least. Okay, thank you.